subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! We are back. This is our day two of prep. So yesterday we did deadlifts. Today is our pressing, our overhead day. Tom's just got his program hot off the press. So, today is more technique stuff to now. We're doing five by five push press on the axle. We're doing incline bench press, three times eight, 100K again. Dumbbell clean and press, three by three, but we're doing left and right. So strong and weak arms. See how this goes. Then face pulls, dumbbell front raises, triceps and biceps to finish. I just wanted to say, there's a couple of guys commenting, obviously Novikov, he did his um, tutorial video on, on on his one arm dumbbell press. And we've said a couple of times now that we're going to be doing both arms. So we know it's not a, a shoulder workout, it's more with our leg drive, but what we're wanting to do is create or not create any imbalances, which I think we both yeah. have incorporated into it because our technique isn't quite there in dumbbell press. So by doing it on both arms, it's going to balance out um, that imbalances that we've kind of created over the years. So that's the thinking behind it. We appreciate that the, the dumbbell press, if we could do it as good as Novikov, then we would. Um, unfortunately, we're not quite there in technique. Not yet. That is what we're saying. So Novikov, you better watch yourself, son. We can't in. Not for dumbbell. You can have that one if you want, bro. So as Tom said, we're going to be using the Minifit Axle. Um, the reason behind this, as opposed to kind of conventional barbell, is that, well, really, we never have barbell when we're, when we're pressing. So it's always axle press. I think we're going to have axle press, a cleaning press, in um, one of, at least one of the competitions this year. It's been a, a couple of years since we've done it. So it is a little bit different, um, obviously, with a bigger diameter. Grip comes into a little bit more, um, and if we can get used to pressing that heavier weights above our head with the axle earlier on, then all we're having to worry about is the continental clean, which we'll kind of incorporate later on into our training. So that's really why we're doing it. It's just for us as strong men, we have to um, do everything like a competition. There's no point in us if we've got axle press, then there's no point doing barbell press for us. We'll do barbell, barbell pressing in our incline press, in our bench press, etc, etc. But when it comes to overhead stuff, we're going to throw in the axle. It's just more technique. We haven't done push press for a number of months now. So this is something just to, just to get our kind of feel back for it. Um, and then next week we're going to increase, 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 increase as the weeks go by. So hopefully it'll go well. Can you break down the push press, brother? Five fives, 100 kilograms. Just like Luke said, to get technique and just to get used to feeling this weight again. and you're going forward, you can see it's going like that, yeah? So really try and over your head and keep that. Not listening, just trying to help. But that's something for you guys to watch, is when you're, we sometimes talk about not looking for the rack. So for example, on the bench press, don't look for the, the, the rack, you know, 
complete the lift and then put it back. I'm guilty of it as well. Sometimes when I'm pressing, I'm kind of putting it and then looking for the down position before I get the, the down command, if that makes sense. So just notice that in Tom, just something that, because we're working in technique, we need to drill home that technique. It's press, down, press, down. Even in the last rep, we're not going forward and then pressing it and then putting it down. We need to wait for that split second each time. We chatted about taking something away from Woosh Bahrain with a dumbbell. That's what we're going to do. So each time, rather than look for the down signal before it happens, we need to hold it up there. That's what, you know, we've got to learn from that. Make sense? That's yes, what? Learn. Learn. This is school. Okay. This is school and this is called. Do you understand any of that? Then? Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> How's everything feeling, Tom? Uh, good. <laughs> it's only a hundred kit. Technique stuff, but... The light technique works just as important as hitting 180 for forward or 200. You know, you need to be able to lock out everyone. When I'm locking out, and pushing forward. So I can do that at 100 then. Just keep on making my technique better and better. But we've not done push press in a while, so it feels good. It should feel good at 100 kgs. That was our push press done, we just hit five sets of five on the Mirafit axle bar for 100 kilos. So it was okay, quite, you are even a wee bit heavier, or we both are, how was that? Yeah, I mean, like I said, the first set I was pressing forward, but quickly uh, listened and did it, you know, but we've not done push press in a while, it's on an axle, and with well, lighter weights like this, that's the first time I've ever kind of push pressed every rep at 100k, usually you can strip press, but Again, strip press is not going to get you practicing the push, so it's important with this is like push press every rep. That's why it's called, that's what we're doing as a push press. So even if it's 60k, 80k, we're pushing, push pressing every rep because, I mean, 100k strips probably easier than 100k push just because you can go like that, but you have to get the timing right. So it's just practice, we're building up every week, so it's going to be good. Like. Good point. And, uh, how was yours, Mr. Stockman? Oh, thanks, Tom. Thanks. Seeing you. Thanks for that. Good, uh, smooth. Um, yeah, as Tom said, with the push press, I think it, it's harder to get that technique with the lighter weight, so we can strict press probably up to 160, 170, um, and still be relative okay. So trying to get that technique in with the push pressing, um, it just takes a little bit of work, but it felt good. Nice to get the hands in the axle bar. That's a, um, a bit more of a wrist burner as well. We keep saying about the conditioning, so this is what we're doing. This is building up for the, the all-rounded conditioned athlete that Tom and I both want to be. This is session two, and you should have seen yesterday. Woo! Wait till you see next week's training. Jeez. Oh my days. But we're happy, so we're going to move on to what we're doing, incline axle press now. Three eights. Three sets of eight at 100 kilos. Nice and light again, but Again, eight reps are still getting that conditioning, that muscular endurance we're building up by every session. And then we're going to throw in the heavyweights and then we'll be yes, raring sir. to go.
Shut it. I'll have my breath for eight reps here. Easy way. How's your beating, Tom? Oh, he dead? He dead? <laughs> Can't hear you. Tom, are you alive? Control. It's all about that control. That must mean you're getting weaker, is it? It's all about mindset. <laughs> Breathe is in the mind. If you tell yourself you breathe heavy, you breathe heavy, like, I'm gonna breathe heavy now. <laughs> <laughs> are you holding your breath all the time? <laughs> Shut up. Right, that's three eights. Axel, incline, bench press done. Nice and easy, nice and comfortable. Just going through the motions. Now we are on to dumbbell. One arm dumbbell, 45 kg. One rep left, one rep light, one rep left. That's one set. You get that? And then second set's right, left, right. Third set's left, right, left. So. Does that make sense? Yeah. Or we can do. That makes four. sense. Yeah. So you do left first down, right first down, left. Right. That's one set, three reps. And then, and then the other next set will be starting start with your the weight, right. weight arm, yeah. Yeah, or vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll be starting with my left, Luke will be starting with his right. Yeah. Now replicate the competition and environment. I want to give Tom the down signal in each rep. So I'm going to be as strict as like Zadrinus is when we're, when we're competing. So I'm going to make him hold it for a second. Then I'll give him the down signal. He knows it's a good rep. And if we carry that methodology, or sorry, if we carry yeah, that method of, of training forward, then we can't go wrong in comps. Down. Bring around the right side. Before this training session, have you ever done it on your opposite hand, or is this the first time? Yeah, I've done it on my opposite hand before, but not like very controlled. I think I played with up to like 60 maybe, 70 k with it, but nothing like... I've done it on the right hand before, maybe like 70 k, but it was just when I was mucking around. I've never really had like a program where I have to do left, right, left, right. So hopefully getting the balance and getting the coordination right, I can do, do up to 90, 100 k on it, which would be good. Then I could actually beat people with my weak hand in dumbbell press, that'd be funny. Let's go off, Down. 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 
Is there a reason why you went all, all the way right there? I did less reps with the right arm, first and second set, so I just did it with this whole three sets, three reps with the right arm just to make up for it. Right guys, that's the circus dumbbell done. Um, alternative arms, right, left, left, right, boom, boom, boom. Um, so that was quite good, up to, it's like 45 kilos, nothing heavy, but again, just working on technique. So that was quite good, all good for you, big boy. Yeah, that felt good. It's good to have a down sig signal. Mm. Um, I think that's one of the hardest ones to hold above your head, if you don't have like a down signal, because obviously, as you've seen before, but then I thought I was holding it long enough, and I wasn't, so it's good to have each other giving down signals and it's good that we're working left and right as well. So, all felt routine today. What about Mr. Senior Otto? Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was fine, just like you say, just nice to have that down command each time. So it just forces you to hold that above your head and you're working that core stability because a lot of the time it's your core that gives away first. So as you can see, we're not using belts at the moment because it is a relatively lightweight for us. So we're working on core stability. And yeah, it was fine, it was good. Got the shoulders pumped up. Um, so now that was our compound. So we did, as you saw, we did push press with the axle, incline with the axle, uh, giant dumbbell press. And now we're going on to accessories. Four sets of 15 to 20 reps with face pulls. Mm. And then we're going to do some front delts, some push downs, and some biceps. <coughs> so let's do this. Do you want any tips as you're doing this? Tips I would show elbows high and remember it's, it's to your head so I'll try and get it to your forehead or above your head and really squeeze at your rear delts so that's what we're aiming for is your rear delts really squeeze it um, and don't use your hips don't put your hips like that because then it's, it's momentum that's, that's doing the exercise so nice and straight nice and solid in your core Pull, elbows high, squeeze at the back. Perfect grips. Yeah. Right guys, that's the first accessory movement done. Face pulls, three sets of 15 to 20 reps. We're now going on to banded front raises. Oh, naughty. Or rep sets. Uh, three tens, three sets of ten. Oh, three tens, and we might take our shirts off after to show you our bolder shoulders. Any spicy stolen merchandise, please follow the link in the description and don't use any codes because you ain't getting no discount. <laughs> oh, gosh. we're bringing sexy back. Oh, 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 oh. oh snap. Let's just this up here. <laughs> So that's the banded front delts done, three sets of ten, feeling nice and juicy. So we are onwards to tricepticons, oh. push downs, three sets or no four, four sets of fifteen. We doing it? Let's go. Age before beauty.
Feel really nice and pumped now. I think both our front delts, side delts, rear delts, triceps. Basically our upper body's pretty burnt out. So last one, we've got 21s on the axle EZ bar. So we've got the middle foot bar, only 10 kilo a side, nice and light. So we're doing seven on the lower part, seven on the top part, and then seven full range of uh, movement. So hopefully we'll be nice and pumped. What's the, uh, how many 21, sets? three sets. Three sets. Three sets of 21s it's called. Let's do it. You can't get past your belly one. Accessories done, so we just did the biceps, three sets of 21. Whoa, pumped! Oh, it's about that size. Must be 23 inches by now. Yeah, buddy. So that was uh, day two of our World Strongest Man prep. It wasn't a heavy session, but... Technique work today, that's important now. We do get technique sessions in. All the sessions, most of the sessions we do are going to be on YouTube channel. A few teasers on social media, but YouTube is Stockman Brothers and look at all the videos that we're going to be putting up on our road to World Strongest Man 2021. So this is going to be our biggest prep to date. This is going to be, we're not, we're not just saying that, you know, we say that every competition, but this is the biggest preparation we're going to have for any competition we've ever done. We're all, this is all consuming, 100%. going to be blood, sweat and tears. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see, we showed you the warehouse where we're training. We'll be there Friday, Saturday, um, our diets on point, our vitamins, minerals, Recovery, I'm away to do my hot and cold after this. Tom's gonna to do his later on. When the hot tub's at 33 degrees now, boys. Eight <laughs> more degrees to go. <laughs> so everything counts. So that's why it's so we're so thankful for you guys buying our merchandise. It does mean that we can train full time, really put our 100%, 120% into it. So thank you so much for buying our merchandise. There is gonna be tracksuits, shorts, and the red and blue panel shirts. Um, in April they're going to be released, so stay tuned for them. Socks coming back too. The big white socks as well, so thank you so much for supporting us. It means more than you can ever imagine, because we get to do what we love to do, and it's all because of you guys, so thank you so much. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy, guys. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ding, 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 ding,